Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Once again, it is the Salty Fisherman back at it with another episode of fishing, fun, and just good times out on the water. Today, we're doing something a little bit different, something I don't do a lot, and that is land based fishing. As you've seen from my videos so far, I am definitely a kayak fisherman. Love being out in the kayak, but don't have that option today. I'm down a truck, my truck is gone, I'm having to get a new vehicle. But in the meantime, I'm going to be doing some land-based fishing. Today we're going to be fishing off the Bailey Bridge, which is to the left of me. I'm going to be searching for some mangrove snapper. That is the goal, to get my limit of mangrove snapper. Uh, I got some live shrimp, and I uh, got one rod with me. So let's get to fishing. Let's see what happens. All right, folks, we're at the second spot, or no, I'm sorry, third spot of the day. This is going to be my final spot to try to catch some mangrove snappers. Hopefully you can hear me. I apologize for the noise, but there again, when you're fishing by structure, especially a bridge, a lot of traffic. So we're going to give it a shot out this way and uh, see what we can't catch. Hopefully, hope we find a few fish to take home for dinner. It'd be nice to have some fish tacos, but we shall see. We walk down to this hole down here, get a little bit deeper. Maybe there'll be some fish hanging around this deeper water. Let's go with a little bit smaller of a shark this time. Oh my gosh, look at that, a little Jack Corval of all things to catch. That's funny. Put up a good fight. That is funny. Well, little Jack. See you, dude. Darn it, darn it, darn it. This time, let's go behind the tail. Here we go. Here we go. First mangrove. Thank you. Coming over. Let's go. I don't think he's, he's not going to be a keeper, I don't think. Oh, he actually might just be a keeper. I'm gonna keep mine at home. Nope. Another eight inches. Another pretty little fish, but just not the right size. Thanks for playing, buddy. Well, folks, to say that I'm on the struggle bus is definitely, definitely the case today. I did not think it would be this difficult to, uh, to catch some keeper mangrove snapper just based off the reports and what I've seen locally in my area. But I am no expert by any stretch. I mostly target redfish, pepper trout, and then go out in the Gulf. Those are kind of my fortes, but would not have thought it would have been this difficult.
There we go. That's a keeper. That's a keeper all day, baby. Get up here. Get up here. Yes. Woo! We got us a nice keeper. Look at that. Finally. Yes. Yes, indeed. Look at that mangrove. That is a nice keeper mangrove snapper right there. Fat, too. I was just beginning to lose hope here. And check out that is a beautiful mangrove snapper keeper at that i'm gonna measure him even though i know he's gonna keep oh that was a good tug dang it that was a good tug oh. boy we are getting hammered down there so what i'm doing is i'm just pitching this bait underneath the bridge as soon as it hits the water, I'm trying to make sure that I get the line tight quickly because they're on it so fast. Oh, this feels like a decent one. Oh, yes, I think we got, yes, this is keeper number two, baby. Woo, look at that. Let's go, keeper number two. Yes. That is a keeper all day, right there. That's probably uh, at least a 10, probably 10 and a quarter inches. Oh, he broke look at this y'all check this out he broke somebody else off and i was able to catch him wow that's crazy they're using a swivel too i'm not using a swivel but that's that's pretty wild Folks, just wanted to do a quick recap of the day as I'm ending on this last catch. Um, only managed two keeper fish. The first keeper mangrove was 11 and a half inches. The second one wind up being 10 and a half inches. The bite was a little slow, personally. I felt like um, I think the problem I had was it was a lot of pinfish. I fished three different locations, and each spot I fished. There was tons of pinfish, so as soon as you got a shrimp in the water, I felt like the pinfish were just on it, or possibly some small mangroves, but uh, I think next time I definitely will do this again. I'll definitely have to get some live bait fish, mud minnows, maybe some bull minnows, or even some just really small pinfish. I think the mangrove, or the bigger pinfish would stay away from those, which would give the bigger mangroves a chance. The setup that I was using, seven foot rod, 15 pound fluorocarbon, 15 pound braid. I had that tied with a dropper loop drop shot with a number one or a number two hook. If you like this video, do me a favor, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. I appreciate y'all. Until next time, tight lines. Peace.